Number one, show that when light passes from air to water, its wavelength decreases to 0.75 times its original value. So uh, whenever a light wave, whether it's visible light or uh, you know UV light or whatever, um, anytime it passes into a different medium, the wavelength changes, but the frequency will remain constant. Now we have a formula that relates then how the wavelength changes here to the index of refraction as we studied in uh, chapter 25. So it says that the wavelength in, let's say, a new index of refraction will be equal to the wavelength in a vacuum divided then by the index of refraction. So uh, the index of refraction here for water is going to be 1.333, all right? And the index, or I should say the um, wavelength then of uh, you know visible light in air, it has an index of refraction of just one. So the wavelength therefore will be equal to the wavelength uh, in a vacuum. So what they want us to show here is they want us to show uh, that the wavelength decreases to 1.75 times its original value. So in other words, what we need to do here, I'm going to plug in now the value here of 1.333, okay? So this is going to be then 1.333. And uh, what I want to basically now show here is that the uh, new wavelength here in water will be then relative to relative to its wavelength in air, which is that of basically a vacuum, right? I mean, it's basically the index of refraction, there's one, is going to be equal to this ratio now, okay? So if you plug that ratio on into the calculator, 1 divided by 1 divided by 1.333, what do you get? You get the fraction here of 0.75. All right, so that's all. That's basically where it comes from. So, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope that helps. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.